Oh, very and good. Then they take that over uh, into the next room and give that to the volunteers who finish packaging the, the grocery carts with the frozen and fresh products. Right. And then they take the grocery car out to, uh, cart out to their car, unload it just as if they were going from a grocery store. That is phenomenal. And then, uh, take it back in. Uh, inside, so it's a it's a really old building that's been in downtown Somerset for numerous years. We purchased it, and with the community's help, we re renovated it mm. and um, made it a really nice building. That is so phenomenal, and you know, uh, you can look around and you can see people that are in need, and and from time to time, you'll even see somebody maybe standing by the side of the road and saying, "Need food, need food, need help," and that's. You know, it just breaks your heart. You want to help everybody, you know, and you people are really reaching out there and doing it. We are. We have, um, like I said, grown so much and uh, trying to get the word out and keep the word out. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very active board of directors. Very we good. We have uh, 29 persons that are throughout our community that uh, help me with various day-to-day -day activities and fundraising all year long. Right. And uh, we're always planning something new and uh, hopefully innovative mm -hmm. to try and keep it interesting <laughs> and fun. But uh, w without their help, it certainly would be much, much harder. We, we couldn't do it. Now, on your fundraisings, uh, do you just like collect canned goods or, or food items or what do you do? Well, starting March 1st and through April 30th, we participate in the Feinstein Foundation mm. Food Drive. And what that does is it brings in uh, dollar donations and food donations of all kinds. Right. It allows us to uh, count each and every one of those items as an item, uh, as a dollar per item, and then we get to get some of that matched through the Feinstein Foundation. Rare. And now uh, yeah. Alan Feinstein does this for hunger relief agencies all throughout the United States oh, during that, is that so two good. month period. He so gives back good. grant money to the uh, food pantries based on their donations they received during that two month period. And it's so wonderful, you know, that you all are doing so much. And, and it's wonderful that you're supplying them with food. You know, a lot of cases you, you're not for certain, you know, uh, like you just can't distribute money everywhere. Right. You have to supply the need of food. And that's what you do. We do. Uh, we make uh, available, along with the food, personal care items and things that get donated as well. Right. Uh, we also do cleaning supplies and things if we have it. Uh, we have an entity uh, that's a large food bank in Lexington that we are able to purchase some things through. Very good. And uh, so we help supplement what we get through fundraisers and food drives throughout the year by those purchases that we make up there. What is a basic, I mean, you can't tell the exact number, but what's a basic that you have on stock? How many people could you supply? Well, uh, in the month of uh, November, we uh, provided food to 974 families. Wow. And so we have staple items that we try and keep on hand, such as uh, this quick type baking mix. Oh, yeah. Uh, cereals and juices, uh, a variety of canned goods, so each family gets a couple of each kind right. of uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, various soups, and so on. Uh, hamburger and helper tuna type meals so that they can take it that home and add side dishes to it. Right. And then, of course, the meat that goes in those dishes. That's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, that that's a breathtaking number right there because a lot of people didn't realize there was that many people that needed the food like that. Oh, yes. there's nine. There was 974 in November, but it surely could have exceeded that 1,000 uh, family mark oh. real easy. There's a lot of people that, again, still do not come right. that are eligible to come. So, right. you know, that could climb. And we as the community need to get behind God's food pantry to do our part. How do we do that? By, you need volunteers, you need food items, you need donations. How can they do that? Well, they can uh, call us at our uh, office number at 606-679-8560. Mm -hmm. Or they can also look online at God's Food Pantry Somerset 
www.ghostsandghosts.org. And it has pages in there that has information right. concerning the pantry, its hours of operation, how to give, what type of things we're looking for to give to these peer right. persons. Uh, there's a PayPal button on there. If they want to make a contribution, they can go online and make a PayPal contribution that way as well. That is so wonderful. I mean, you just strictly uh, work with the food items. What about uh, shampoos or toothpaste or anything like that? A anything that, that uh, you would use, we take in as far as donations. So if you go to the store and you right. find a 99 cent bottle of shampoo, buy an extra one and donate it to your local pantry. We would provide oh. that to our clients.